In this video, we will be going through a set of problems dealing with the specific heat capacity of silver. So the first question gives us, and actually I'm on part C, let's go back to part A. Uh, we're given the specific heat of silver, and that's at 0.24 joules per gram degree Celsius. And we need to find the heat evolved given a particular mass and a particular, uh, we do have specific heat, and a particular temperature change. So the mass we're given is 150 grams. So I'll go ahead and add that to our equation I already have set up. We also have specific heat given above, 0.24, with a final temperature of 298 degrees Kelvin. And we can keep it in Kelvin, that's fine. That's 273 right there. There we go. And at this point, all we need to do is simply find the product of those three items. And when I do the calculations, I come out with 900 joules even. So that is the amount of heat evolved when we take 150 grams of the silver and raise it uh, that many degrees uh, Kelvin. For the second question, they want us to find the molar heat capacity. So basically, we're just figuring out, instead of grams, how many moles uh, can, we, can we heat per mole degree Celsius instead of per gram degree Celsius. So I went ahead and started off with the 0.24 joules per gram degree Celsius. And all we have to do is a quick conversion on how many grams are in one mole of silver. We just go to the periodic table and it is 107.87 according to my periodic table. So essentially, grams cancel and we're left with joules per mole degrees Celsius. And I get 26 joules per mole degrees Celsius. That's our molar heat capacity. On part C, we're asked to find the mass of a particular, uh, particular uh, for the silver. So we're given the Q, which is 1.25 kilojoules, which we would need to convert to joules. So we take that times 10 to the third power, we'll have 1250 joules of heat. M is our mystery number. Our specific heat is 0 0.2, 0 0.24. I'll have to go down here. Final temperature is 15.2 minus 12. All right, so we get 1250 on the left still. We'll combine the 0.24 and our change in temperature. We will have exactly... 0.768, and when we divide both sides by 0.768, we will have a final answer of 1627.6. I'll go ahead and put that on the next screen. So our mass is going to be grams. If we want to put that into kilograms, we can say 1.63 kilograms if we divide by 1,000. And that would be our final answer for this, for part C.